The first step in mechanical ventilation is called endotracheal intubation. Once you're asleep, your doctor will use an instrument called a laryngoscope. This device helps guide the endotracheal tube to its proper position. Your doctor will tilt your head back slightly and insert the laryngoscope through your mouth and down into your throat, taking special care to avoid contact with your teeth using a special blade on the device. Your doctor will gently raise the epiglottis, which is a flap of tissue protecting your larynx, as they advance the tip of the endotracheal tube into the trachea. Once the tube is in place, your doctor will inflate a small balloon surrounding the tube to make sure it remains snugly in place. They will then remove the laryngoscope and tape the tube to the corner of your mouth to prevent it from being jostled out of position. Your doctor will check to see that the tube is properly positioned in the lower part of the windpipe by inflating your lungs with a special bag and listening for breathing sounds on both sides of your chest. If the end of the tube is too low, both lungs will not receive the same amount of air. In some cases, an x-ray is taken immediately after intubation to confirm the placement of the tube. Once the endotracheal tube is in the proper position, your doctor will attach it to the mechanical ventilator, which will have a specially designed pump that aids respiration by delivering well-oxygenated air into the lungs and permitting carbon dioxide to escape. Levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide will be closely monitored to confirm that the ventilator is working properly.